Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today I'm having a holiday in the southwest of France, in the Provence, so I'm going to tell a story from here. The story is about beating, beating your wife. And it's called The Goat. And it goes like this. Once upon a time, this is quite several hundred years ago, there lived a couple called Victor and Beatrice. Victor and Beatrice were a young couple in love. They had just gotten married. Uh, Beatrice was a very loving wife and Victor was, had, you know, he was a good guy, but he had one problem, anger management. He could just not hold his anger. So when she cooked something wrong or did something wrong, he would just burst out and slap her in the face. One day, he did that again. And she said, I don't want to live like this. This has to stop. And she told him as he was hitting her, he says, stop doing that because I'm going to turn into a goat if you keep doing that. but he would not change his ways. So she thought hard and hard about it and then decided to go to the priest in France called Monsieur Le Curé. It was the same priest who had married them. And so she went to see him and the priest says, oh, my daughter, what can I do for you? And she said, oh, Monsieur Le Curé, you must know it is my husband who beats me all the time. Beats you? That's terrible, said, you know, the priest. And he says, well, what actually happened? And she says, well, you know, if I just cook something wrong and he doesn't like it, he'll, he'll beat me. And what do you say then? Asked the priest. And she said, well, I said, if he doesn't stop, I'm going to turn into a goat. Hmm said the priest, let me think about this. And he thought, and he thought, and then finally said, Beatrix, I think I've got a solution. Listen to me and do as I say. Go back home and be a good girl. And then she interrupted him and says, I've been a good girl all this time, Monsieur Le Curé. It doesn't change anything. He says, wait a minute, I'm not yet finished. Go back home and... Um, the next time that he hits you, you turn into a goat. Turning into a goat? How am I supposed to do that? Said Beatrix. Well, you know, you can say, bah, can you not? And she said, bah, bah. She said, well, good, good. That's what you do. That's what you'll say. Nothing else. Hmm. She said, okay. And then, only stop when I tell you to stop. So Beatrix went home and that evening her husband came home, Victor, and um, he dipped his bread into the soup and he burned his lip and he got so angry again, again, anger management. He slapped her and he said, that soup is so hot. Do you want to burn me or what? And she said, Bah! And he said, what, are you, are, you, are you mocking me, Beatrix? And she said, bah! Beatrix, you know, talk normally to me. Bah! And he thought and he thought and he said, oh my God, what if she really turned, she, she seemed to have really turned into a goat. What did I do? She warned me so many times and still I just ignored it. I slapped her again, and now she's become a goat. What, what if she's gonna go on all fours, you know, and have to tie her to, 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 to a pole and feed her hay, you know, and, and she'll have horns and she'll attack me all the time. No, this, this cannot be true. I, I have to find a solution. So they went to bed. He sweated all night. He cried. He tore his hair out. He could not sleep. Didn't get a wink of sleep in. 
And then he thought, well, she must be exercised. Somehow she's possessed. I must go see the priest, Monsieur Le Curé. So soon as the son got up, he went to see the priest. And the priest was not yet up, was still sleeping. Victor arriving so early and he said, Victor, what is it so early that I can do for you? And he said, oh, Monsieur Le Curé, you must know it's my wife. Your wife? Is, is, is she that? Must I administer the last sacraments or, or what? No, no, no. He said, she's turned into a goat. Into a goat? Well, tell me what happened. Well, said Victor, I have been beating her regularly and she warned me that she would turn into a goat and now she did. All she says is, bah! And the priest says, oh, beating your wife, that is a cardinal sin. Victor, you know that. And now you're asking God to help you? Well, what's wrong with you? And um, the priest says, well, hmm, de-goating a woman is not an easy thing, Victor. But I will do it anyhow. God loves all people, those that submit to his law. He loves them and takes care of them. So listen to me, Victor. Before you do anything, I want you to swear to the Bible that you will never ever lay a hand on your wife again. And Victor said, yes, I will. I swear on the Bible that I will never beat my wife again. And say your prayers that you repent and I repent. Okay, now go home and tell your wife to come and see me. So Victor went home and he felt a little bit more confident, but he wasn't quite sure whether that priest could really help him. So he said, Beatrix, Beatrix, where are you? Uh, my darling, where are you? And she said, bah. He said, stop that blaring. I cannot stand it any longer. And yeah, go to the priest and blare to him. He wants to see you. So Beatrix put on a dress, a nice hat, fixed her hair a little bit, looked in the mirror, and then went to see the priest. And the priest said, after he had looked and made sure nobody could hear them, Beatrix, I think things are working out. Your husband has just sworn to me that he will never ever beat you. So what am I to do next, said Beatrix. Well, I hear I officially de-goat you. Stop blaring. Just go home. Be a good wife. Take care of your children when you get them. Come to church every week and everything will be fine. So she went home with a big smile on her face and she embraced her Victor and said, Oh, my Victor, I love you so. And Victor kissed her as if it was the first time they were meeting. And he said, If that priest would not have been able to de-goat you in order to be with you, I would have had to become a goat myself. And so they lived and argued happily ever after. Bah! Thank you.